been one of my missions in life to stop or curtail all forms of animal testing. I felt great empathy for these poor creatures. They were not very different from us. They just couldn't speak, or they could speak if you pay attention and watch them carefully. They, they could speak a great deal. Traveling around the world, I felt this constantly. When I had my company in Windsor, Ontario, Jameson Labs, I uh, was the first to ban any kind of animal testing. Uh, that always horrified me. So that led me to starting to support animal charities and animal uh, groups who were defending animals, trying and uh, projects to uh, help protect and sustain animal life. From the Americas to the Far East, countries across the globe are moving beyond animal testing. There's never been a better time for us to join this burgeoning field that's revolutionizing the way we study human biology in health and disease. I'm incredibly grateful to Eric and Dana Margulis for their transformative gift that has enabled us to launch our mission in full force to promote the replacement of animals in Canadian biomedical research education, and chemical safety testing through 21st century science, innovation, and ethics. In the newly established Eric Kismagulis Research and Training Laboratory for Alternatives to Animal Methods, we're using complex human cell and tissue-based methods to recreate human disease in a dish and to test the safety of drugs and other chemicals, while training the next generation of scientists, ethicists, policymakers, and regulators to think outside the cage to make human biology the gold standard. My ultimate dream, and the reason we made a, a, what I consider a generous contribution, so that's the largest we made to every, anybody in Canada, or the United States for that matter, is the hope that the your group at Windsor will eventually be able to replace all animal testing, to develop models that will save these poor creatures in cages from being tortured and burned and injected and infected. That to me would be a great piece of humanitarian progress. Hope that we can inspire other people who are, I'm sure are unaware, unaware that this wonderful medical technology could be available. Uh, I know there are many like-minded people to myself and my wife who are, would be very happy to start supporting this cause.